What's up, guys? Um, this is Rob from Sir Radio here. Um, I just wanted to put a build video out. It's not the meta. Well, kind of is. Um, but it is a raid build. It would work for PC and console, I, I feel. Although, I haven't tested PS4 or Xbox. Um, so, don't know. But it, it's, it's viable, I imagine. Um, I've completed the raid with this build. Um, let's get into it, shall we? Um, specialization. Currently using survivalist because of the AR damage. That's pretty much it. There's probably other things in here that I'm utilizing, but pff, yeah, you could run sharpshooter. Um, but I mainly use this for the crossbow, so to take down the vents on the last boss. Um, yeah, got a P416 with the ranger and extra for those extra rounds and the 20 round mag. Damage to elites, damage to elites, crit chance. Pretty standard. Um, secondary weapon doesn't really matter. That kind of changes. I, I use Nemesis in some parts, and I, some, I don't have it on my character at the moment, but um, sometimes use chat box. Um, as for the pieces I'm using, I'm using two piece um, Gilligard. One Piece 511, One Piece Fenris Chest, obviously, everyone's using this. Um, RK Holster and a Murukami mask. Let's start with the mask. Obviously, 8% health, which is great. Damage to elites and hazard protection. <coughs> hazard protection is pretty damn good, in my opinion. I don't have a lot of health because I don't have the rolls to make a a good a high health build, um, which is what most people are doing with Berserk at the moment, but don't have the pieces. So I just went into hazard protection. I've got quite a lot. Um, hard hitting for damage to elites, and this could be a lot higher, but I don't have any. That could be like 50, which would give me an extra 10 DTE, but we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, the Fenris chest. It's not god roll, but it's pretty good. 12% weapon damage, crit chance, health. That could be a lot higher. That could be like stupidly high. Um, but I think I had crit damage, so I rerolled it as weapon damage. Um, Berserk and health. And a sneaky assault rifle damage generic mod. The holster, I have crit chance. Um, because, I mean, I could run health here, but, you know, and hard hitting, and another cheeky assault rifle damage mod. <coughs> um, backpack, oh wait, the RNK gives me 10% hazard protection, more of that lovely hazard protection that I was talking about from the mask, so that's 37%, remember that. Then... I've got protection from leads. I, from what I can gather, you can only get 15% protection from elites. So if you have a two-piece Venerous. So I don't know whether this is just really strong or they just haven't really thought about it. Whether cause you, I don't, Well, you might be able to get it from mods, but I haven't had any. But yeah, the backpacks got protection from elites, weapon damage. This is just trash. I've mainly got it for that and that. This could be, that would probably be better if it was um, vital, but I wanted weapon damage. It's not the best backpack in the world. Uh, my gloves, health, slot rifle damage, and weapon damage. And a skill power mod, because there's no point putting anything else in there. Oh, what did I have on there? What was it? Another cheeky assault rifle damage mod. I'm really bad at this. And then knee pads have got armor. That's quite a high armor roll. I mean, you could also go health here. Um, hard hitting for more DTE. 
and then got a pretty damn good health mod. And another cheeky assault rifle damage. And the two piece killer guard gives me more hazard protection. Um, as for skills, yeah, that changes depending on what part of the raid, but yeah, revive hive and chem launcher. Um, let's look at the stats. So I've got 24%, 24 base damage. This is quite a healthy amount of crit chance. It could be better. I mean, if I had the exotic AR, that would be 37%, which would even be even better. Crit damage, yeah, it's kind of sucky. Headshot damage is kind of sucky. But then in the raid, you don't really need headshot damage. Um, and then I've got 26.5% on weapon damage. That could be a lot better. And 56% assault rifle damage, which is insane. But that's because I've got those cheeky 5%ers. Without those, you're still sitting, I mean, take 20 off that, that's like 36. You're still sitting at 36, which is still over 50% weapon damage. And then I've got 91% damage to elites, which could be an extra 10 higher because my mask is shocking. Like, if I got that to 101, that would be amazing. And then 57% has the protection. So I'm doing a hell of a lot of damage, right? Hell of a lot of damage. And I'm tanky as hell. I can tank in the... I can't remember what the, the boss is called, but the guy who sticky bombs you in the raid, I've tanked his sticky bomb more than once. So there, there it is. Uh, catch you next time, guys. Cheers.